welcome to the Wallace Reboot. Unfortunately for us today, it's immigration day. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So no visa run for us. This is actually an extension. Uh, the little spendy. I think it'll be about 350 US for our family of six. And I was gonna just show you the location, the building, and a little bit of the process. And I'll show you step one. Here we go. All right, so we got our grab ride here to Chiang Mai Immigration. Um, if you've been here before, it used to be over in a mall on the other side of town. It's now here just right near the entrance to the airport. They have um, some things over here. I know that there's places you can do um, get copies made and I think even get your passport photos but you're gonna want to do that actually away from um, the immigration office it's gonna be it's gonna be cheaper because of course they're gonna make the prices higher here if you have a car or a bike and you're not springing for constant grab taxi rides I would suggest um, driving by in the afternoon have your stuff with you drive this way when you go somewhere else and see how the parking lot looks, you know? And if there's no line and the parking lot's fairly empty, that's your day, you should do it. We originally came in by air, which does not count against you for an entry, and as a US citizen, you get 30 days upon arrival, so a visa exemption, so no visa. We did that, and then we did a border bounce, not a border run, or a visa run, I guess you could call it a border run, not a visa run. Um, a visa run is when you go out of the country to obtain a visa to come back into Thailand with. What we did was a border bounce. So we were in Chiang Rai and we took the bus, you can see in the video. We went to uh, Myanmar and went just out of the Thailand border into the Myanmar border, back into the Thailand border. We got another 30 day um, visa exemption. So that gave us another 30 days. Then we extended, we did our first extension here and like I said, it was about 350 US for all six of us. And then we did one more border bounce. You get two by land per year. So after that, you can do more by air or um, the best bet, which I wish we did, was to take the time and spend the money to get a 60 day visa. Then you can extend that or do your border bounce. And that gives you a little more leeway if you know you're gonna be here for more than two months. That would have probably in the end saved us a little bit. I'll have to double check the price though of the of the 60 day visa because I'm actually not sure on that the 60 day tourist visa how much that costs if this is more cost effective or not. But it's just kind of a pain to have to come here. It takes a long time. This is actually starting to chill out a little bit. Um, it's either kind of popular to do an extension to come super early in the morning or to come after lunch in the afternoon at like 3 3:30. Yesterday we opted not to come because the day before was a holiday. Right after a holiday or a weekend, it's always gonna be way busier. So we waited, but I think everyone did. And then apparently they had a system issue earlier this morning, so that backed them up a bit. But they do seem to be moving along now. So I'll go ahead and take you over and tell you what the first step is. Keys in the back. So if you're doing an extension, um, you'll read nightmare stories about having to be here at two in the morning or three in the morning and lining up along the street out here where the cars are driving. Um, that is for different types of visas and renewals and check-ins and things. So the just the regular 30-day um, extension is a different line when you come in. It's a different form and you don't need to come at that time of day. So the first thing you do when you arrive is come on up here to the steps and then grab your forms unless you've printed them out and filled them out ahead of time. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Okay, so when you arrive, you're going to want to just come here and get your visa extension form. Okay, so you need to make sure you have a copy of your passport and a copy of your, um, if you've done a border bounce previously like we did, then you're gonna need a photocopy of um, your picture page of your passport, as well as a photocopy of the back part where the little scan code is of the, visa on arrival or I don't know what they call it but 
Yeah, you need to make a copy of this. It's stapled into your passport, and that's what they'll need a copy of. And they'll need the back side of that with the code on it and the scan card. And you'll also need an additional passport photo, so make sure you get extras printed of those. Yeah, so make sure you have extra passport photos and your copies, and then your 1900 bot ready. And that's per person. Okay, so basically you're just gonna come in, it's just, um, Name, birthday, your passport number, issue and expiration, how you arrived, and then uh, if you've done your border bounce, then that's going to be the number here that I told you to get the copy of, and I'll show you an example if we still have it in our passport when we get it back. Here we put 30 days, and here you put tourist and sign on the back. You're going to put your address that you're staying. It can be your hotel here your name and then your address again here and then your signature and then they will attach your passport photo there's some really sweet girls over here who won't let me film them that will totally help you out if you have any questions and um, and they've always been super friendly and then you're going to go in with your things and your money and you're gonna go up to this counter actually right here that you can see and they will take your information tell you if you missed anything or need anything additional and they'll staple everything together staple your money to it and then they'll give you a number I'll show you what that looks like these are the numbers you'll get and there's actually an app it's called happy Q and you can scan this and then it'll give you an estimated time in case you it's super long then you can leave go run an errand or go home for a little bit and come back and keep an eye on it Got them, receipts. And before I forget, this was the other thing. When we went through Myanmar and we came back in, this was the 30-day um, exemption that they give you. And back here is what you need the photocopy of with that number. What do we have? How's yours? You got 10 minutes too? Stop. Eight. Winter. This takes the cake. Autumn is fall. But it doesn't say autumn. It says fall. Okay? Yeah, Brett. Awesome job. You're doing really well tonight. Great work. All right. Let's see what's next. Aww, jumps. So cute. Rush jumps. Yes. Rush jumps in the water. Get them both. La 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 la. Good job. Great work, Red. This is. Wow. Good job. All right. Awesome high five. Really good. Let's listen and drag and drop and put the word in the right spot. Eat. What do you like to eat? Bananas, apples, or bread? Which one? Drag and drop. Next time on the Wallace Reboot, we celebrate our first tropical Christmas. We were a little lost and didn't know what to do, so come check us out and see what we did. We love you! <laughs>